Okay, um, it's like 8 in the morning, so that means that I nearly has to wake up again because, you know, I'm an early bird. So when I'm filming this video, they might be still asleep. Hello everybody! So today, I finally, finally downloaded this game called Obey Me! Oh my gosh, and I can't even believe it that I'm going to be doing this first thing in the morning. So, I'm really, really excited on what it's going to be about. So, here we go! Agree. English. Time to go. So, we're gonna start it. Shall we date? Presents. Oh, baby. Oh, I'm actually excited. I can't be too loud though, because my, my family is still asleep. Me. Help. Why? What's going on? Help me! What's going on? I was locked up by a demon. Hmm. I don't know what's happening, but we're off to a pretty surprising start. Oh god, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? I wonder. Oh. Congratulations. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted to the Royal Academy of Diavolo. Please return this letter with your signature to confirm your participation. We are looking forward to welcoming you as a part of our new exchange program. Yours sincerely, Diavolo. Nice! Oh, okay, so I have to add my name. Okay. Alright. Okay, I'll go for Sophie. Because I feel real good if I've been called like that. We have to choose our birthday. My birthday is actually quite close, so yeah. It's surprising. Here we go. I cannot change my birthday later on. Yeah, of course, I know. I'm telling the truth. Okay, here we go. I signed up for this, I guess. Royal Academy of Diavolo. Oh, that's a nice castle. Where am I? I'm in a place that looks like a courtroom. Several men are looking my way. Oh my gosh. The man in the seat of the chief judge starts speaking. Yeah. Oh, welcome to the devil dumb, Sophie. Oh my god, he looks, he looks handsome. Oh, pardon me. Feeling a bit shocked, are we? Well, that's understandable. You've only just arrived, after all. As a human, it will probably take a while for you to adjust to things here in the devil dome. I mean, true. Um, the devil dome? That's what I was gonna ask. Yes, exactly, the devil dome. I see that you catch on quickly. Excellent, oh, thank you. I like that. I suppose I should start introducing myself. My name is Diavolo. Oh, so you're probably the owner? I, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Because the name of the school is also your name. I am the ruler of all demons, and all here know of me. Uh, okay, I'm right. <laughs> and someday soon, I will be crowned king of the Devil Dome. Oh, amazing! This is the Royal Academy of Diavolo. Though we just call it rad. Oh, I like that. <laughs> You're standing inside the assembly hall, the very heart of rad. This is where we officers of the student council hold our meetings and conduct our business. I'm the president of said council. Why am I here? I'm just asking. Oh! Oh! Okay, um, oh, this one, this one. He's like a gentleman. Okay, he's my type. He's my type. <laughs> okay, thank god, like, I'm not screaming much. I will explain everything to you. You look handsome, by the way. <laughs> Sophie, this is Lucifer. He is a demon and the avatar of pride. Oh! He's also the vice president of the student council and my right hand man. And not just in title, I assure you. Beyond that, he's also my most trusted friend. Oh, nice. Flattery will get you nowhere, Diavolo. <laughs> oh, you're so close, you're so close. Speaking on behalf of the entire student body at this great and storied school of ours, I offer you a most heartfelt welcome, Sophie. Okay, on behalf of the students, really? 
Diavolo believes that we demons should start strengthening our relationship with both the human world and the celestial realm. Oh, that's nice. As a first step toward this goal, we decided to institute an exchange program. We've sent two of our students to the human world and two to the celestial realm. And we're welcoming four students to our school. Two from your world and two from the celestial realm. Oh, that's nice. That's, an, that's a fair exchange. So I take it. You've probably put two and two together at this point, right? You've been chosen from among the people of the human world to participate in the program of ours. You are our newest exchange student. Oh, I feel... I feel nice. Your period of stay is one year. You will have to work on the tasks that you will receive from Rad. After one year, you will write a paper about your exchange here in the Devil Dome. Paper? Is it like I'm gonna write a novel about my experience? That would be amazing though. Task? Write the paper, you demon! You demon! Tasks. Task. Why tasks? Is what I would say. You're here as an exchange student. Do you really expect to spend your time here fooling around? Don't glare at me like that. It's not like I would abandon you all by yourself here in the double dome. Okay. You need someone to look after you. And I think that someone should be my brother, Mammon. Who's Mammon? He's the avatar of greed and... How should I put it? Oh well, you understand soon enough, okay. Oh, 666. Here, take this device. It's called a DDD. It's a lot like the cell phones of your world. Okay, I see. This will be yours to use for as long as you're here, okay. Now, go ahead and try calling Mammon with it. Okay. I'm gonna try calling Mammon. I don't even know who Mammon is, but anyway. Okay, so I'm logged in. Welcome to your DDD. I am Karasu, your virtual assistant to support your life in the Devil Dome. Oh, Karasu. Oh, Karasu, no. Oh, okay. Crow. Got it. Say hey, Karasu, to activate me when you need my help. Okay. Hey, Karasu. Bruh. Just kidding. Oh, bruh. Bruh, you just tricked me back then. How dare you? Sorry, I was just trying to copy one of those other fancy assistants, you know. It's not like I wanna be like them, no. Who are they even trying to fool? They're just mindless tools with their smart defense act. Okay, let's get back to business and get on with the tutorial. It seems like you have a missed call. Let's check it right away. Alright. Here we go. The missed call was from Mammon. Mammon lives in the House of Lamentation. He is the avatar of greed and the second eldest of the seven demon brothers. Also, he is well known for being the troublemaker of the devil dome. Oh, oh, this boy needs some teaching right here. I'll make sure to discipline him, okay? I can't really recommend him, but oh well. Let's return his call by tapping his name. Okay. So we're gonna call him. Hey. Hey. Yo. <laughs> huh? Are you fooling around? No. No, I'm not. I'm a human. Hello. Uh huh. Okay. The mammon, bruh. Okay, you will be in charge of me from now on. That's what it was said. Yep. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. You better behave yourself, okay? You will be the one to help me throughout the school year, bro. Ah! Yeah. So, you get it. Thank God, thank God. Good luck with that, bro! You're supposed to help me, bro. bro, bro. Excuse me. Lucifer called for you. Dude, I'm being serious right here. Oh! <laughs> ah, that's so funny. If you turn on push notifications, you will be notified when you get any messages from him. He'd be so sad if you ignored him, that's for sure. Okay. Hello, hello. The Seven Brothers. Oh, we're still in it in the story, I see. Sounds like you had a nice chat. Well, I would have preferred you, dude. You seem more reliable. 
You look even more worried now, huh? Well, if you were suddenly brought to a strange place and then get told that an unfamiliar face will now take care of you, you'd certainly feel anxious. However, Maman isn't the only one to help you out. Now then, we still need to introduce our new friend to your brothers, Lucifer. And it's probably better that you do that instead of me, wouldn't you say? Yes, as much as I dread the idea of doing so, you're right. Oh! Oh, you're pretty. I like your hair. Oh, come now, really? You should be honored that you get to introduce such a sweet and charming little brother like me! This one here is Asmodeus. He is the fifth eldest. He's the avatar of lust. Oh god, okay. He's gonna be dangerous. Asmodeus, be careful with me, okay? Well, I can't believe you just totally ignored what I said! And not only that, you referred to me as this one! How rude! Oh, okay, hello. You look nice too. Hmm, at least he didn't ignore you altogether. How do you think I feel? That one here is Satan, the fourth eldest of us. At first glance, he may seem like a responsible demon with a good head on his shoulders, but looks can be deceiving. Aha, so I'm that one, am I? Nice to meet you, Sophia. Well, Satan, nice to meet you too. I am Satan, the Avatar of Wrath. The Avatar of Lust? The one from earlier? That's right, it pretty much sums up what I'm about, including my power. Let's give a little demonstration. Sophie, could you gaze into my eyes for a moment? Are you sure? It's okay, I won't hurt you. Come on, don't be shy. No, 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 I don't trust you. You know what, let's just go with the flow, okay. I'm gonna look. Hold on a second, that's weird. Lucifer, are you sure there is a soul inside his body? Yes, assuming Bill hasn't devoured it already. That is, who is that? Nope, I haven't eaten any souls yet. I should probably warn you, Sophie. You'd best be wary of Asmodeus' gaze. He can charm and manipulate people, and use them to his own advantage. If you're not careful, he'll charm you, and once you're under his spell... <laughs> no! Come on, excuse me, I haven't even had any breakfast yet. Do not eat me. Hey, don't go around saying things like that. Well, I didn't even trust you. I was just playing around. <sighs> Are you done? Now the one there with the very grumpy look on his face is Beelzebub. I don't know how to say her name. He is the sixth eldest. <laughs> Lucifer, I'm hungry. Oh, He looks like he works out. He, he, he kind of looks buff. That's too bad. Now behave yourself. Oh. He's hungry! Oh, okay. You can have breakfast with me. I'm also hungry, don't worry. I'm Beelzebub, the avatar of gluttony. So, there are seven of us brothers in all, and I am the eldest. Mom and the second eldest of us will be here soon. My other brothers aren't here at the moment, but well, we can get to them later, all in good time. During your stay in the Devil Dome, the Seven Brothers will lend you their strength. To keep you safe, you are here to stay with them at the House of Lamentation. Oh, the House of Lamentation? Sounds interesting. Yes, it's where I live with my brothers. It's a rather spacious house, and it was originally a cursed house in the human world. So I assume it won't be a problem for you, a human, to live there, I see. Although we will be living together, you should still have the means to reach us at any given time. All of our phone numbers are already here, and your DDD also has some messaging app. Make sure to add all of us. Okay, I will. I'll go ahead and send you a message. Isn't that nice, Sophie? Now you'll be friends with the future king of the devildom. Yeah, exactly. I think I feel lucky. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna text them. Hello, how are you? It's Karasu. You received a message. Alright. Karasu, this is the chat screen. The most recent messages are displayed first in the chat app. Oh there. The number shown next to the icon represents your intimacy level with that character. So perhaps you will get more messages and phone calls if you increase the intimacy level. Let's see what Diavolo sent you. Alright. Can I see? This is my account. Feel free to send me a message at any time. 
Oh, why you send me that? Oh, sorry. I haven't gotten used to this yet. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. You see, Lucifer is the only demon who sends me messages. Aww. That's a nice sticker. That's the one I wanted to send you. Oh, that's nice. Send your message or sticker and tap the send button to reply. Thanks. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Woo! Oh, that's so nice. If you would like to see a certain chat log one more time, try tapping the memory box. Apparently, it sometimes even tells you about future messages. That's nice. I like the sound of that. Mammon, Avatar agreed, so we're gonna meet him in person, I see. Well, you've got that done now. And it seems the idiot has arrived as well. Oi. Oh, that's Mammon? Ooh, you look cool. Hey, just who do you think you are, human? You got a lot of nerve summoning the great Mammon. Listen up, because I'm only going to say this once. If you value your life, then you'll hand over all of your money now. And anything else of value too. No, 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 no. I, I don't think, I don't even think I have money in my pockets right now. Otherwise, I'll wipe that stupid happy-go-lucky look right off of your face by eating you. Starting at your head and working my way down until... Mammon, shut up or I'll punch you. Oh! Wow. This boy needs some teaching right here. Right there. Got ow! Hey, what's the big idea? I thought you were actually gonna give me a chance to shut up before punching me. Uh. Sophie, Mammon hears the avatar of greed. He governs and oversees all forms of it. <laughs> Whenever he takes a liking to someone, they suddenly find themselves awash in money. Bruh. From what I hear, if he decides to break it off with someone, that wealth evaporates. They're left without a grim to their name. Oh no, that's not cool. And also he's a Okay. That's what's important. Indeed, and it just so happens I have a job for my okay. of a brother. <laughs> Y'all, stop telling lies. I ain't asked for that punch. And I ate them. Okay. Mammon, you're going to be in charge of seeing this human's needs during the whole exchange. I expect your full cooperation. Huh? What? Why me? Oh, lucky you, Mammon. I'm so jealous. Oh. Alright, then why don't you do it, Asmodeus? What? Okay. No, I'm too lazy. I thought you said you were jealous of me. Just give up, Mammon. There's no getting out of this. True. Too bad, so sad. You know you can't refuse a direct command from Lucifer, correct? But why does it have to be me? What about Beale? Why can't he do it? This isn't a job we can't entrust to Beale. We might as well ask him to eat this human. Mmm, yeah. I can't promise I wouldn't. You're useless, you know that? Mammon? Wh what? Surely you're not going to tell me that you object to this arrangement, are you? Oh, he's scared. That's what you get if you talk smack. Alright, you guys. Every one of you. Fine, fine. I'll do it, okay? Yeah, you do it. Alright, you men, listen up. As much as I don't want to look after you, I got no choice. It's a huge pain in the okay. and I'm too important for this kind of thing. But Lucifer told me to do it, so I will. But in return, you better make sure you don't cause me any trouble. Got it? Okay, deal, deal, deal. Good, that's what I want to hear. As long as you do as I say, we won't have any problems. Just be sure you don't forget which one of us is the boss here. We have decided who will take care of you. So on to the next subject. Your tasks. Oh. Tasks? Good question. Your task is to polish up your soul nicely and to acquire the power to resist demons. Ooh. Is it okay to resist? Demons like humans with nice souls. Aw. Let me put it another way. Nice souls look like shiny jewels. Do you understand now? Yeah, I do, I do. Demons will use their wisdom and abilities to tempt the humans so they can get their hands on their souls. Okay? Other demons at Rad also have tasks assigned to them just like you. Oh, okay. 
In other words, either humans will be tempted by demons, or demons will lose against the shiny and noble souls of a human and make a run for it. Okay, so I have to be careful. You can say it is an experiment to find out who will win. Okay, what happens if I what happens if I lose? I wanna know. There is no penalty set. Would you like me to think of No Lucifer, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, thank you. There there, don't give me that look. Don't take it too seriously. You won't have to do those tasks on your own. After all, you don't have any magic in you, unlike the other exchange student from the human world. So I have another human? Who has magic? What? So my brothers and I will lend their power to you and you alone. To see is to believe. So why don't you go ahead and give those tasks a try, Sophie? Okay, so we're gonna do this. I don't know what the task is, but oh well. Hello, it's me, Karasu. I was wondering if you'd like an explanation about the task you'll be working on while you're staying in the Devil Dome. Let's set everything up so you can take them on. Tap Nightmare. Oh, it's a gacha! Okay, okay, it's actually quite funny in seeing why it's named Nightmare. Gacha's Nightmare. Yeah, I get it, that's true. Nightmare is a magic book app. The Royal Library of the Devil Dome is in charge of it. Everything's become so digital these days. You know what I'm talking about, right? You can obtain two types of cards in Nightmare. Demon cards. These are the cards you will mainly use for your tasks. They allow you to use the demonic powers of the seven demon brothers. Memory cards. These cards will help you clear your tasks. Some special magic is sealed within them. You need one of more demon cards to do your tasks. Use this app to obtain them. Usually you need currency to play. But we've got good news! Your first summon is for free, just for you! Okay, so give it a try! Tap summon 10 times 10. Alright, here we go. Let's see who we get. Oh! Oh, that's nice. Oh! Got rainbow. So I got one rainbow, which I'm saying that's probably very good. Ooh, that's pretty. <gasps> oh! Oh, he's so cute! <gasps> oh my god, my SSR, Mammon. Oh my god, oh, this art is amazing. Oh, he's cute, he's cute. Nice. SR. R? R? SR. Oh! Oh wow, that outfit though. R. Oh! <laughs> Do you even lift? <laughs> Ta-da! You obtained 10 demon cards! You will sometimes be able to play Nightmare for free, so don't forget to take a look every now and then. If you launch the game every day, you'll be able to get stronger cards, which will help you progress with your tasks. That's cool. You're finally ready to take on your tasks. Okay, I'm going. Tap the icon to go to your tasks. Lucifer decided on the name of the app, as he figured it out would be easier to understand. Your tasks, yeah. It's just the title. Your tasks are shown on the map. They appear one by one. Both story segments and battle segments are shown on the map. It is your mission to finish all the segments shown on this map. Okay, it's time to clear the first task. Do you see icon? The cute icon? It tells you your current location. Try tapping the next battle segment. Oh, what's that? It's like a music note. This is the screen where you get ready for battle. This is the battle stage name. Stage attributes. Using cards with the same attributes will help you win. Rewards. You have a chance of winning these items when you win the battle. AP cost. This tells you how much AP stamina you need for the battle. Window on the left tells you more about your team. Ooh. To battle, you have to choose up to three demon cards. Nice. You can also pair a demon card with a glow stick <laughs> and choose memory cards, which will enable you to use unique skills. Let's see first how to start a battle with demon cards only. This is your team's total strength, 27,000. This is your opponent's total strength. The more you exceed their total strength, the happier Mr. Smiles will be. The recommended team shows the set of demon cards that has the highest total strength. Demons are nice, right? Giving you a hand like that. Okay, you're all set now. But don't think demons always go by the book. That's why we added this button to make sure you can also edit your team. Experience is the best teacher, they say. So... Why don't you give it a try? Alright, here we go. How will we even do this? 
It's a dance battle? Oh my god. Oh, I didn't mention this until now, but when I said battle, I was talking about the dance battle. Oh, that's gonna be epic. <laughs> there are many ways to charm demons, but as you are a newbie, we decided this would be good for you. There are two conditions you must meet to win. One, fill the score meter until it reaches the line. Okay. Have a higher score than the opponent by the end of the battle. Oh, okay. This is the score meter. This is the time you have left. When it reaches zero, the battle is over. Oh, I almost forgot. You see that hearts appear on the screen during the battle. If you tap them, you get extra points. Every little bit helps. Make sure you keep those eyes wide open so you don't miss anything. If the demons do well though, fever time may occur. While fever time is active, stars will appear. You can increase your score by tapping them. Are you ready for a battle? Yes, I am. Remember those demon cards you got earlier through Nightmare? They will lend you your strength. So don't worry. All right, here we go. Let's see how it goes. Don't forget to tap the hearts. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is so cute. You can use the special skill now. Tap to use the skill. Here we go. Go, go, go. That's it. Get that one that in the upper left. Show me what you got. Tap, tap. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little too excited. As you can tell, skills are very powerful. Also, if you sync their special skills, you get a combo, which makes the attacks even more powerful. It's good to keep that in mind. That concludes the battle tutorial. Feel free to battle more whenever you're up for it. Oh, that's fun. Oh, I can... There! Yes! Combo, baby, combo. Yay! I won! Yay! <laughs> that's so much fun. Oh, these are my rewards. Oh, I leveled up. Nice. Oh, surprise guest. Oh, hello, Mammon. I'm so tired of this. Why do I have to help you out? When the battle is over, there is a chance you'll get a visit from a surprise guest. It's always a good idea to give rewards if they did a good job. Swipe or tap them to deepen your relationship through some physical contact. Why don't you try touching <laughs> or caressing him? Oh, I can pat his head. Okay, wait. Oh! Oh, you're so happy. Oh, I love this. Y'all yeah, got any business with me? Oh, It's that simple. You can also reward your surprise guests with presents. I search what Mammon likes. Here are the search results. Instead noodles. Ooh. Let's try giving him one and see how he reacts. Alright. Say, ah! Oh! He loves it! He got hearts. Don't you got anything else? Easy, don't you think? Of course demons have some preferences, so it's important to get to know them well. Oh, there's also a, <laughs> a whip, bro, which you can use to punish them. But don't forget to keep a nice balance between reward and punishment. Oh my god, so oh my god, there's a whip. Oh no. Mammon, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Hiya! Don't think you can get away from this. I'm sorry, but it's good. it has to be done. Oh, that's right. I got something for you. <gasps> Thank you. Be grateful and take it. Oh, I got a chibi! It's so cute! It's almost time to go. I'll see you around. Oh! I gained intimacy with Mammon. Good luck. So I, I think we're continuing on with the story. Yep, we are. With that, my explanation has come to a close. But to sum it up for you, you will be an exchange student here at Rad for one year, and you must do your tasks. Your tasks consist mainly of dance battles, and as you have no magic power, we will lend you a hand. If you want to use our power, you will have to use special cards. You can summon those cards through the app called Nightmare. And when your exchange period comes to an end, you are to submit a paper about your stay here in the Devil Dome. It's easy as pie, don't you think? I want to make one thing clear right now. Don't blame me if someone gets eaten, because it ain't my fault. Lucifer, I'm hungry. Oh, come on. Oh, okay, dude, you can come with me for breakfast if you want. That's too bad. Now behave yourself. Oh, oh I wish I could get him a snack, though. Okay, let's make it a year to remember. Let's go. You sure are a positive one. Not all the time, though. <laughs> well, I won't stop Yap yeah, from having some fun, thank you. Sophie, from now on, you'll be living in the House of Lamentation. 
you'll be staying there with Lucifer and his six younger brothers. Humans, angels, demons. I imagine a universe where each accepts the other, where we are brought together as friends. This is my dream, and I'm asking you to be the foundation for it. One year, that's what I ask of you. Good luck, Sophie. Thank you! Oh my god. Okay, so I'm going to end the video off right here because the recording has been 37 minutes with no cuts. So yeah, alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like my video, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. And see you in my videos. Bye-bye!